finding the C major chord harmony across the fretboard. Hey guys, this is Jay. How are you, my lovely people? I hope you are doing good. And this is Jay, your guitar coach. I hope your practices are all going very well. And I'm very happy to be here with you guys to encourage you all with the new lessons and new stuff. And I hope you all are learning very well. So today we'll be learning an entire new lesson. Those are all about major seventh chords. And don't skip the video. Please watch until the end. Because in the end of the video, I'm going to uh, teach you how to apply these major seventh chords in your song. And if you are new to my channel, please, I just request you to subscribe and click the like button and hit the bell icon and also make some comment. So now, without making delay, let's get into the lesson. So now we have to talk about how the major seventh chords are formed. And before that, we need to talk about the major chords, how the major chords are formed. So as you all know, major chords are formed one three and five okay let's take the exa example of c major so how the c major is formed so the formula of major chords is one three five so if it is for c major what the notes will be in the c major it's c e g and the c major chord is fine so this is c major but for the major 7th chords, one note will be added and that is 7th. So it will be 1, 3, 5, 7. Fine. So if we take the example of C major, uh, what will be the note C, E, G. And if we add the 7th note, then it will be B. C, E, G, B. So that is C major 7th. So now let's see on the guitar. So... The first note is C. Uh, keep your ring finger on the third fret of the A string. This is C. And later, keep your middle on the second fret of the third string, uh, which means uh, the note is E. And later, and later, what will be the third note or third degree? It's G. C E G. And later, the seventh chord is B. Fine. So. This is the B open string, right? So C, E, G, B. Okay, now we will move forward uh, with the example of C major 7th chords and how, how it goes on entire fretboard. Okay, we have 6 positions of major 7th chords. And the first position is, you already knew it right now. So this is the first position. Uh, this is actually a C position, okay? Uh, if you keep your uh, index finger on the first fret of the second string, this will be C major. Okay, so just omit it and now we are playing C, E, G, B notes. So this is the C position. All these are movable chords. So uh, if you want to play, if you are supposed to play C sharp major 7, you just need to slide your fingers from here to the next fret. And you have to uh, keep bar on the first fret. Okay, and change your fingers just like this. So this is the C sharp major seventh. And if you go like this, so this is the D major seventh, T sharp major seventh, E major seventh. So just like this. So now let's see the uh, next position of C major seventh. Uh, this will be like A position, okay? And and now let us see the another position of C major 7th. And that will be on the 3rd fret. And keep your index finger on the... And this, this is just like A position. Because uh, for A major, we just play like this. Uh, this is the A major, right? And this is the C major, okay? So keep your index finger on the 3rd uh, fret of the uh, 5 strings all the five strings and keep your middle finger on the third string of the fourth fret and a ring on the uh, D string or uh, which is fourth one and keep your pinky on B string or uh, which is second string on the fifth fret I'm sorry and now and don't play on the sixth one So this is the C major 7th and this is also movable chord and if you 
Oh, go like this. C sharp major seventh. D major seventh. D sharp major seventh. E major seventh. F major seventh. And just like that. And the second position is also like uh, A position. Um, that will be on the fifth fret. Keep your index finger on the uh, fifth fret on one, two, and three fourth strings. Not this one. And place your pinky on or uh, seventh fret of the uh, high E. So this is the C major seventh. The harmony is so good. I just love it okay so if you slide to the next fret C sharp major 7 D major 7 D sharp major 7 and just like that and if you go uh, backward C major 7 B major 7 A sharp major 7 A major 7 okay so now the next position this is the fourth position this is uh, this is just like e position and this will be uh, just like stair staircase keep your index finger on the first string of the uh, seventh fret and middle on the b string on the eighth fret and ring on the ninth fret of the g string and pinky on the tenth fret of the d string so the shape is just like a uh, staircase So this is also C major 7th, C sharp major 7th, D major 7th. Uh, this will be something hard to play on higher frets. And now the next position, this is also E position. Okay, keep index finger on the 6th uh, string of the 8th fret and directly middle finger on the 2nd string of the 8th fret and keep your ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string and later a uh, pinky on uh, adjacent string like a uh, uh, third string on the ninth fret and see here uh, the A string should be muted just like this okay and uh, now you should play on uh, the first string okay see that's it the string is muted and we shouldn't play on the high And now let's go to the next position and this is B position and this will be on the higher frets keep your index on the 10th fret of the D string and later and later middle finger on the 12th fret of the oh, G string and ring on the 12th fret of the B and the pinky on 12th fret of the oh, high E so this is something complicated not so complicated oh god but i just prefer it to play the bar cards here uh, just like okay you just need to bar the five, one two three four strings on the 10th fret and also uh, bar the one two three strings on 12th fret uh, this will be super easier for you to uh, play on these higher frets Sorry. so if you play like this this is something mm. so i don't prefer that for myself so i hope you just knew all the chords now i'm going to teach you what i have said in the beginning of the video uh, about how to apply all these chords in a song fine so let's take uh, some random strumming pattern like uh, okay so now the song goes on c major and if the chords will be c f g c then you'll play c f G major 7th and C. That will be more awesome. G major 7th. Actually, I have played G major 7th chord here in this position. Uh, you already know that. Uh, I just played, this is the C major 7th, right? And this is also E position. I just played here on the 8th fret. This is the C major 7th. So right away, if, if you move backward, 
So you just can check it. This is the C major, uh, G major seventh. Fine. something like saucy awesome okay now let's play the c major seventh or add by adding in this pattern now c major seventh f major g major seventh and c major seventh fine Also, you know, uh, we can play the F major seventh just like this. This uh, open F major seventh. This will be the position of uh, the staircase which we have played here. This is the C major seventh, right? So in this position, and we can play the F major seventh chord just like this. This is the position of I already told you of uh, staircase. We just play the C major seventh here, right? So if you are supposed to play uh, the F major 7th here, so keep your index on the uh, B string of the 1st fret, middle on the G string of the 2nd fret and a ring on the 4th uh, string of the 3rd fret. 4th string means which is D. Play from the 4th string. So this is F major 7th. Okay. So I hope guys that you have all learned something in this video about a major 7th chords and how they should be applied in your song. I hope uh, this video is very useful for you guys so and please hit the like and please uh, subscribe and click the bell icon and make some comment and share with your uh, friends who are interested to learn the guitar. I just hope this video is uh, useful for you guys to play uh, something and to learn the uh, major 7th chords and later we are going to discuss uh, about minor 7th chords also and I'm going to tell you some useful tricks for you and please watch all of my uh, jamming videos so I just kept the playlist name as special guitaring I just played something which is very different so I hope you will love it and thank you so much for watching this lesson so let's meet in the next video bye bye